what broke me what broke me was that when I left my label you know when you think you've built a circle and my mom always says something though Yoruba she say Ibeke Lenio Asoni I'd built a circle and when I left my label people people chose pick sides forget I was in my bedroom and I just I broke down nothing I was happy I think I had a show I had a show in I, yes, I had um, it was a week of shows and I was at home for that day and the next day I was supposed to go to Ghana and I got a BBM you have to come to the studio now I just wanted to lie down. I just wanted to just lay down and not think, not do anything because I was going to go to Ghana for a whole week. I was going to record an album. I was going to shoot videos. And I just wanted to lay down. I couldn't catch a break. And it all dawned on me just in that moment that I wasn't leaving. That even if I got to where I was going, I would be so sad and miserable because then I won't have friends, my family has moved on, my nephews will be. I was missing the little things and it was in my growing years. I was crying and I called my then boyfriend, right? I told him to come. And he was the first person I told. He's my husband now. Hello! He was the first person I told. I said, I don't want to do this anymore. He said, what? He said, no, 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 baby, calm down. I'll never forget. I was like, I was like I'm not coming now. I don't. I can't do it. I can't. He was like, do you need a break? He was like, no, no, no. You need a break. I was like, no. I said, do it all away. I can't. I, can't. I said, I can't. I said, no. I can't. I just can't. So, so now what do you want to do? I said, I want to sleep. I want to wake up, sleep, eat. Wake up, sleep, eat. So we called a family meeting and what well, BK called a family meeting. My brother was like, no, you're spoiled. Mommy, you spoiled her. You can't just say you want to leave. Because I acted fine. Didn't get it. Didn't know what I was going through. How can you just wake up and say you're not doing it anymore? Dude, my sister is a lawyer. So my sister was like, no, you know what? Let me draft. What do you want? I said, I don't want anything. Okay, do you want a car? Okay, you know what? Let's buy you a car. I said, I don't want anything. I don't want to do again. But to me, my mom was even more worried about the relationship. It was a big fight and nobody spoke to me until we got to the lawyer place. So I said, they would get me a lawyer. My mom said, lawyer for what? I said, because I know these people in case they come for me. So I've known these men since I was like three. I've known them. They were amazing to me. And then they left money. They came for me because of money. And at that time I was 21. I was fighting legal battles with people I called my brothers. I didn't believe it. And that was when I knew the world was really messed up. That was when I knew that the only person you can bank on is you. That was when I knew I was on my own. I was poor. I won't say I was depressed because I was famous and poor. Because my parents didn't teach me to value money. I'll be in a bus. I saw one look at me and say, oh my God, why are you in a bus? And even me, I wanted to be like, why am I in a bus, you know? I'm like, there was this guy, I was like, man, I'm broke. That's why I'm in a bus. I felt like I'd failed. 
especially because I thought that business would pick up. Like, they had so much hate for me. They started bad-mouthing me to people, to companies, to, to producers, to... So I was kind of blacklisted. So you know all that time where people were saying, where is Mo Cheddar, where is Mo Cheddar? Nobody wanted to work with me because they hated me and they wanted to do everything in their power to ruin me. And I felt God forsaked me. Sadness consumed me. And I started reading about it. I didn't Google depression. I just Googled, there's this darkness inside of me. Then I realized that a lot of people say they have, and they're like, oh, it's depression. I met a doctor. Then you start seeing stories about when I met the doctor, I lost my mind even further. I can't come, can't come, can't come, can't come. Ah, I said, this depression, woman, man. Don't tell anybody. Oh. I spoke to somebody actually. I lied. I said him, one of my friends, because I'm still pretending here. I still used to be flick. I used to post Instagram pictures constantly. Ah, I was flick. You know, not have problem. If you see me, you won't know. In fact, you want to be me. And how would you want to be me, girl? Even I didn't want to be me, but for some reason, I just, I wanted to prove to people I was always okay. The only reason I did not kill myself, the only reason, I'm telling you. First, I didn't even know I would kill myself. I thought about it so many times. I thought about, I obviously had a car then. Sometimes I'll be driving on the bridge and I'll be like, let me just enter to that bridge. Then I'll say, ah, you will drown. And I can't swim. <laughs> I think your time is so dirty. God. That's too painful. I wanted you to be quick. So I used to pray. God should just kill me. I'll sleep and I'll wake up. If I sleep at night, I'll say, God, I don't want to close my eyes and I'll wake up. And when I woke up in the morning, I'll cry. Because I didn't want to be alive. I was just done with it. But I, I had love. And the only reason why I think I couldn't take my life was because I knew that if I had taken my life, I wasn't only going to take my life, I was going to take BK's life. For some reason, I couldn't do that to him. And the next day, I called the doctor. We spoke for like two weeks. Then eventually, I told her my name. I said, my name is Mo Cheddar. And she was quiet for a long time. Even as the doctor, she said, I'm sorry, but you look so happy. But I was still good at pretending. Because, come on, I was a strong one. Hey, if I break, my mother will probably just faint. <laughs> How would I tell people that I, I tell to be strong, that I need, you know? I, I couldn't. I almost went in for surgery when my ulcer came to deal with me. And all I had to do was see a doctor. All I had to do was take care of myself. All I had to do was know that it's okay to fail. What was know that all I had to do was understand that as long as I was at peace with this person, that every other thing is okay. I, I live to be happy. I wake up and I do only what makes me happy. If it takes my joy, if it takes my peace, I move on and I 
take a bottle of my happy juice and I take a sip of it. 